tornadoes in Clark County, not something you see very often, but it happened Sunday. And while it came as a surprise to many, meteorologist Bree Guy explains why twisters aren't completely out of the ordinator area right here in the desert southwest. A bit of a weather twist yesterday when we got not one, but two tornado warnings in the region. Now, while tornadoes aren't a common occurrence in the West, they happen here more than you may think. Rain, thunder, lightning, tornadoes, a weather phenomenon not many associate with the desert, but it can happen. The National Weather Service reports that 42 tornadoes have been reported in southern Nevada and western Arizona since 1950. This includes Clark, Lincoln, and Mojave counties. Our region has also had six tornado warnings since 2005. The National Weather Service confirmed the last ground tornado was in 2020 in Kingman, Arizona. The reason tornadoes don't happen as often here as in other parts of the country is because it's hard to get the right mix of weather elements going at the same time. We get the moisture and the instability that we need during the monsoon season. However, we don't usually get that wind shear that's required for tornadic activity until we get into the winter months when we have all that wind that you know about. Out of the two tornado warnings issued on Sunday, only one has been confirmed via video to touch the ground in northwestern Arizona. The other warning near Mesquite was radar indicated. This means what they saw on the radar looked like tornadic activity, so the National Weather Service issued a warning. But there hasn't been confirmation yet that a tornado actually touched the ground. Unlike the Midwest and the East, tornadoes in the West are rare and usually weak even under the right conditions. One of the reasons that we don't see as many tornadoes is because we have very high cloud bases. And with our thunderstorms, um, under those conditions, it's real difficult to get a circulation that reaches all the way to the ground. However, when, because we have that situation, we tend to get a lot of really strong straight line winds with those storms. Even if you didn't see any severe weather yesterday, the National Weather Service says that it is very important to know what to do in a tornado, a flash flood, or severe thunderstorm situation. Brie Guy reporting.